tutorial 7 we're going to continue talking about the sketch tools so let's go to the sketch menu and let's try a new way to start a sketch so now we are not in the sketch mode and you notice not all the sketch tools are activated let's select a slot here and now you'll notice that SolidWorks give you three planes you can rotate with the mouse as we knew how to rotate so you see you have three different planes shown to you so maybe can give you a better viewing to the orientation so let's select the top lane here now we are in the top lane menu so let's click on the normal to here or from the orientation menu normal to so we are normal to the sketch so in this story we're going to talk about the slots and circles the slots they are quite easy to use if you see the explaining figures here on SolidWorks and let's select the straight slot simply select two point then your slot is done you have a center point slot you can make your slot depending on your center point so let's select that point now we have another slot circular slot where you are able to make your slot in on an arc the last one is the center point arc slot so let's select that is the center to be of your slot and you can create it the way you want so now you have that slot so now when you are done okay so the one is more used is the next which is the circle you have two type of circles the one you are able to make it from the center point or you define it by three points so let's start the first circle you can select the center point where you want to draw your circle and then your circle is done and dimensioning we learn how to add the dimensions just you click on that circle and add the dimensions dimensioning the slots also on the same way but you have two dimensions need to be added to the slot let's add 50 here and let's add our second dimension to be 150 so so let's add the relation here if you click that point that point you'll notice that relation icons appearing you know, select consident okay your slot is defined so we will take we're going to make a tutorial about the adding constraints so for now we have this circle is made now let's start making a circle tangent in three points so let's click this line this circle or oh, so now we have two lines selected they are inside these two lines and then the third one you can select that or or that point or we can select this point to be clear to you so now you created your circle inside three points you are selecting so let's try it again let's make a center point rectangle select the three point circle select this line this line this line your circle is inside a tangent with these three lines 